Hey guys, so we have another project today. So uh, we have a new water line we want to put in. This is just a water line to use to extend the garden hose out uh, to the uh, to lean to. So you can see we've got the trenching done now. Uh, so we did this over the weekend. Uh, today is Wednesday. Uh, so we plan on putting the PVC piping into the trench. So this will run all the way out to the lean-to. And then we have another section that will go to uh, this uh, pad area of the patio. So for the past couple of years, we've been dragging the hose out to these garden areas and it's just been a, a real hassle and we're hoping to alleviate that with this, this new pipe. So we just wanted to show you all the, the supplies and parts that we have for this. So um, if you can kind of zoom in, this, this Y connector will connect to the house. So it's got the shut off valves. So this is a pretty nice one. Uh, we've seen some other ones that are much smaller and flimsier. Um, it's a high flow faucet adapter. So we got this at Home Depot. So all of the parts here we got either from Home Depot or Lowe's. So this will connect to the house. Okay, so this, this side will go to the normal garden hose and this side will be connecting to this uh, short six foot um, it's a <clears throat> female to male. We, ideally, if you can find a female to female, that's what you really need. Uh, we could not find a female to female, so what we ended up having to do is get this, this brass female to female connector. So this one side connects to the garden hose, and the other side connects to this uh, brass fitting here. So this side is threaded for the garden hose and the other side is the the national pipe thread so we've got this uh, it's a three quarter inch uh, three quarter inch national pipe thread to this female uh, pvc elbow to a slip joint the slip joint is half inch so this will be going to a half inch pipe so the half inch pvc pipe will just <clears throat> run through the trenches and then from there, um, ultimately where it comes out, we'll have uh, these faucets. So this is a half inch slip to a three quarter inch threaded. So it's three quarter inch threaded here. So again, we'll have the white PVC pipe coming up into the slip joint. It's a three quarter inch that, that comes in here. So those are the parts. Um, one other thing I wanted to get into, since this is something that will only be used in the summertime, we'll be uh, using an air compressor to flush the system every, every fall. So I just wanted to show you this. So again, this is <clears throat> the connection from the PVC pipe to the, the short six foot hose here. So in the fall, when I need to, to flush the system out, I'll be disconnecting this, okay? So that this will be connected to the system. And then I'll have this set up connected to my air compressor. So this is a three quarter inch, again, female, three quarter inch male that will screw in here. This, this is a half inch male to a half inch female and again, a half inch uh, female here, and this connects to the air compressor. So this is just to use to flush the system in the fall. So I'll show that later on uh, once we get this all hooked up. Okay, I wanted to show you a couple more parts uh, for the system. So we have a T connector. So we're again, we're going to have two faucets. So. The T connector is just to split the, the line into two. So it, we'll have the one line going straight back to the, the lean to, and another line will be going to the, uh, the patio pad area, um, you know, with the faucets on each end. Um, we also bought some 45 degree angle PVC uh, adapters or connectors. 
along with the straight connectors to connect all of the 10 foot sections of pipe. We bought 15 10 foot sections of pipe. And then we have our elbows. These are all half inches, a completely half inch system. Um, the other tool that you'll need is a PVC pipe cutter. Uh, so we'll be using this to cut the pipe as needed. And also we got the handy pack, um, primer and cement uh, to connect the pipes together. Okay guys, just wanted to show you the adapter. Again, this is the adapter to, that connects to the, the six foot section with the female to female. So again, this is a garden hose to national pipe thread. Uh, so this is the package. It's an ever built garden hose adapter, three quarter inch, three quarter inch, tapped at one half inch inner diameter. So guys, we have the, uh, the shutoff valve with the Y connector connected. Uh, it's connected to the six foot fe uh, female to male uh, garden hose. That connects to the um, to the female to female again, and we've got this brass um, connection here into the female. So that's again a three quarter inch uh, national pipe thread to the three quarter inch elbow here to the slip end. The slip end connects to the half inch pipe, and the half inch pipe uh, goes all the way through the trench. So the trench goes all the way back to almost the end of the, the lean-to patio area. We call that patio number two. And then over here, um, we take a right uh, for about 30 feet. And this goes right behind this little patio pad area uh, so we can get the hose here uh, to water uh, some of the flowers and bushes over here. Um, Hey guys, I'm just gluing the uh, fittings together. So this is the first one. Here, connected. We're gonna zip tie it over here, and then we'll connect up to this one. So I'll get that next. Okay guys, so at this point I'm just starting to glue the pipes together, uh, putting the primer on and then the glue or the cement. And the way you do this is you put the primer on, that purple primer on first, and then you put the cement on. Uh, all surfaces need to be coated, um, both the inner and outer um, surfaces. And then you just push them together tightly and give them a slight turn. And uh, within seconds, uh, they're, they're pretty much um, frozen in place. So anyway, um, this is the first section of pipe that I'm putting in. And that will be zip tied to the garden stake that you see there. And uh, I'm just going to have this, this go at... Uh, twice the normal speed just so we can get through this part quickly. So again, that first elbow there is the three quarter inch uh, threaded national, uh, national thread. Uh, so that brass fitting, uh, the garden hose fitting to the um, National machine thread fitting will go in there. See, you see right there. So now I'm starting to prime and cement the remaining pipes.
So this uh, shows the entire run of the trench with the PVC pipe. So at this point, I'm all the way down to near the very end of the, uh, the first run. This is the second run right here that I haven't started yet. Um, but the first run goes all the way down to the third post on the lean-to. So there I am, just wrapping up that that run, making my last cut before uh, I make the 90 degree turn and then put the, uh, the vertical pipe with the uh, spigot. All right guys, so we're just uh, finishing up the second spigot over here. So we have a uh, one more pipe to glue in here and then we'll be driving this garden stake down and attaching the, the spigot to it. So it takes about two hours to get up to uh, pressure testing strength. I believe it goes up to, it's up to 180 PSI pounds per square inch. So uh, that's pretty quick. So what we'll do is we'll wait a couple hours and then run the water through it. And then after that, we'll run the air compressor and get the the air through it to try to evacuate the, uh, the system to make sure that works so uh, that's what we have coming up all right guys so the next thing is to uh, glue this last uh, this last pipe so we have one more 90 degree um, connection and this it's about a two foot two, two foot high pipe and the spigot will connect to this we're going to use um, tie down straps to tie this down to the garden stake. Okay, so I have the, the last fitting to go on. So this is a uh, half inch female to a three quarter inch male. So this goes into the three quarter inch female brass spigot. Screws in. So Anyway, I just need to glue this on to this pipe and then we can screw the the brass uh, spigot on. So guys, at this uh, at this point in the video, I'm cutting the garden stake with the grinder. So I'm just cutting this about an inch or half an inch below the, the last fitting on the very top there. Um, this was needed to be done in order to turn the handle on the spigot. All right, guys, so um, we're just about finished here. We just need to put the, uh, the brass faucet on. Uh, so we got the fitting on here. We cut the pipe down after pounding it in. So it's pounded in a couple feet deep to six foot uh, um, garden stake. And then we, uh, we use the zip ties to connect the uh, PVC pipe to the garden stake. So the next thing is just to put the faucet on here, uh, the spigot, and we're all done. So guys, I just wanted to show you this one more time. So this is the brass fitting here. This is the male three quarter inch that goes into this female three quarter inch PVC, which goes down to a slip joint here, half inch to the half inch to the half inch pipe. So anyway, my plan is to take this out in the fall in order to uh, evacuate the water out of the line. So what I'm going to use is this. So this is a three quarter inch male and what I've got in here is 
this is a half inch female to a half inch male and and this is basically a, an air fitting you, you connect this up to your air compressor so what i'll do is i'll screw this in here like this get my air compressor and my, my air compressor is rated at 150 psi um, i'm thinking that should be able to evacuate the water out of here uh, so we're going to give that a try, um, if not today, um, very soon. So here's a view of the entire uh, system now, from the, from the house all the way to the patio pad on the right. So we're going to take a, a slight job here to the right. So this is the first spigot here. And we'll turn this on. We have no leak, so we're very happy about that. And then we'll take a walk back. Here's the, the split off. And then the line going out to the lean-to. And then we'll show you this one, turning this spigot on. So very happy with the results here. Again, we had no leaks, and this should be um, a great improvement to what we've had.